Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Researching additional rides and scenery during scenario play is a small but important part of Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, especially if you need to quickly research additional coaster types because the ones that you start with absolutely suck. In this video we're going to learn how fast you can research new items, how expensive it is and how it is determined in which order the items get researched. Before we start though, I want to give a quick shout out to my mate Cody Watkins. He made a video about 10 types of rollercoaster tycoon players which I feature in. It's a great video, so go and watch it after this video, the link is in the description. There are 4 different funding options, including no funding, which is for when you don't think that you need any additional ride types or when you have already got them all. The lowest actual funding level is low funding, which costs you 100 euros per month. This researches a new item every 73 or 74 in-game days, or a little over 3 new rides every year. One tier up is normal funding, which with 200 euros per month is double the cost of low funding. This will give you a new item every 47 in-game days, or a bit over 5 a year. The highest tier is maximum funding, which once again doubles the cost to 400 euros a month. With this much funding, your researchers will buy a Ferrari and also give you one extra ride every 29 or 30 days, which is more than 8 a year. If you look at these numbers, you can see that they don't all have the same cost efficiency. In fact, the more funding that you give, the more you are spending per new ride or scenery theme researched. With the lowest funding you spend 240 euros per item on average, with normal funding you spend 307 euros per item and with maximum funding you spend 384 euros per item researched. Generally I would say that it is worth it to spend a bit more as getting an important ride or stall a bit sooner can make a much bigger difference than the extra cost that you paid it to get it that quickly. Now that we know how the funding works, let's take a look at the order in which rides are researched. You may think that this is random and that's what I thought for a very long time. But there's actually no randomness involved here at all. When you create a scenario and are done with the land selection, you get to the invention list. At the top are the rides and scenery that will be available at the start of the scenario. And at the bottom are the items that can be researched during the scenario. Not only can you change which item is in which section, but you can also change the order of the not yet invented section. This order is important as this is what determines the order in which the items are researched. Let's take Crazy Castle as an example to have a closer look at how this works. This is the invention list of Crazy Castle. At the top of the list is the spinning wild mouse, so this will be the first item that will be researched, providing that you have roller coasters enabled in the research window. If you don't have coasters enabled, it will skip this item and check if the next item is eligible. If you have no categories selected, then the game will treat it as if you have all categories selected. This means that if you have all categories enabled, you will always research the rides in this exact order. If, for example, you only have thrill rides and gentle rides enabled, you will research just those types of rides in the order that they appear in the list. In the case of Crazy Castle, the first five would be the swinging inverter ship, the ghost train, the top spin, the car ride and the enterprise. If after that you enable all categories again, you will start at the top of the list of what is left to be researched. This has the side effect that if you research for a while with everything but one category enabled, say shops and stalls, and after that enable stalls as well, you will only be researching stalls for a while, even though you have everything enabled. 
This is because the stalls and shops that you skipped when you had them disabled are now at the top of the list, so you need to go through all of them before you can get to anything else. The last thing that I want to talk about is the stages of research. There are three different stages, initial research, designing and completing design, which all last a third of the total research time. The first stage, initial research, is just a cooldown timer during which nothing happens. At the moment that the designing stage starts, the research category is decided. This is the only point where it matters what categories you have enabled. If it says that it's developing a transport ride and then you disable transport rides, you will still get a transport ride. This stage also gives you the expected due date, which may change if you change the funding. The last stage, completing design, gives you the exact rides that will be researched. This behavior of first only showing the category and only later showing the exact ride type is a clever way to make it seem random even though it is not. The game already knows which ride will be researched at the start of the second stage, but it's just not telling you yet. And that was it for this video. If you appreciate the research that I've put into this video, consider giving it a like or leave a comment. You can also subscribe or follow me on Twitch. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.